A remarkable new study suggests that Stonehenge was built to modify sound during ancient ruling class rituals. The stones might have worked as a sound chamber, keeping the words of the ancient shaman inside the circle. We may never fully solve all the mysteries of Stonehenge, but a new study suggests it may have been designed to block sound in very specific ways. To recreate the acoustic properties of the stone circles as it was originally built 2500 BC, acoustic engineers at the University of Salford in Manchester constructed a 1 in 12 scale model they called Mini Henge. Thanks to laser scans of the site conducted by the government's research group, Historic England, Cox and his team were able to replicate the exact dimensions and precise topography of the monoliths. Today some stones are missing, but these were replaced in the model. The simulated stones were treated to replicate the acoustic properties of the site's actual materials, allowing for more accurate results than past models. Researchers then tested the model, placing speakers and microphones in and around it. They even scaled the sound 12 times quieter than normal speech. The study found that people who spoke or played music inside the monument would only be heard by people inside the outer ring. Testing on the model also suggests that the stones increased the volume for the interior sound but kept sound from escaping the outer ring. This would have made it hard for anyone outside the structure to hear what was going on inside. The scientist said, you would have thought that the sound would just dissipate, but there are enough stones horizontally that keep the sound bouncing back and forth inside the structure. It's quite magical what happened in that space. He went on to say, the placement of the stones are capable of amplifying the human voice by more than four decibels. Here is an example. This is my voice saying Stonehenge. And now here's my voice saying Stonehenge four decibels louder. Music and other sounds would have been enhanced for someone standing inside the outer circle of stones. Speech from the center of the ring had perfect clarity this suggests that activities such as religious rituals at Stonehenge were intimate events for a small chosen group. They also discovered that the whole of Stonehenge hums when the wind blows through it. There's also speculation that some of the smaller stones used in the ancient site's construction may have been chosen for their musical qualities, placed in a way to affect the wind, but also to be used as percussive instruments. Here is a recording of playing ringing stones. An original form of rock music. The ancient stones of the monument today are stabilized in a concrete base. But in their model, when the stones were free to vibrate, the sound was even more enhanced. The truth is out there, if you can hear it.